Greetings, viewers. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into a topic that affects millions around the globe, the connection between tobacco and cancer. So, grab a seat, hit that subscribe button, and let's unravel the intricate relationship between this infamous plant and the devastating disease it's linked to. Now, before we delve into the details, make sure to share this video with your friends and family. Awareness is key when it comes to combating the impact of tobacco on our health. Cancer, a formidable adversary to human health, has been linked to various factors, and one of the most well-established connections is with tobacco use. Tobacco, consumed in various forms, has long been identified as a major contributor to the development of several types of cancer. This article delves into the intricate relationship between tobacco and cancer, shedding light on the mechanisms through which this substance becomes a causative agent for this devastating disease. Tobacco contains a complex mixture of more than 7,000 chemicals, with at least 250 identified as harmful and over 60 recognized carcinogens. Among these carcinogens, nicotine, tar, and various chemical compounds pose significant threats to human health. The primary routes of tobacco consumption include smoking cigarettes, cigars, or pipes, as well as using smokeless tobacco products such as chewing tobacco or snuff. The most well-known association between tobacco and cancer lies in the realm of lung cancer. Smoking is the leading cause of lung cancer, responsible for approximately 85% of all cases. The harmful substances released during the combustion of tobacco are inhaled into the lungs, where they wreak havoc on the delicate respiratory system. Carcinogens in tobacco smoke damage the DNA in lung cells, leading to uncontrolled cell growth and the formation of tumors. While lung cancer is the most prominent consequence of tobacco use, the harmful effects extend far beyond the respiratory system. Tobacco consumption is implicated in the development of cancers affecting various organs, including the mouth, throat, esophagus, pancreas, bladder, kidney, and cervix. Additionally, secondhand smoke, the inhalation of smoke by non-smokers in proximity to active smokers, has been linked to an increased risk of cancer, emphasizing the broader societal impact of tobacco use. Understanding how tobacco promotes cancer involves unraveling the intricate biological processes triggered by its toxic components. Nicotine, the addictive component in tobacco, has been shown to promote angiogenesis, the formation of new blood vessels, and inhibit apoptosis, programmed cell death, contributing to the survival and proliferation of cancer cells. Moreover, the tar in tobacco smoke contains carcinogenic substances that directly damage DNA and interfere with the body's ability to repair genetic mutations. This DNA damage can lead to the initiation of cancerous growth and the formation of malignant tumors. Efforts to combat tobacco-related cancers hinge on prevention and smoking cessation initiatives. Public health campaigns educational programs, and regulatory measures aimed at curbing tobacco use have proven effective in reducing the incidence of tobacco-related cancers. Additionally, supporting individuals in their journey to quit smoking through smoking cessation programs and therapies is crucial to breaking the cycle of tobacco-related cancer. The link between tobacco and cancer is undeniable with an overwhelming body of evidence supporting the harmful effects of this substance on human health. While strides have been made in reducing tobacco use through public health measures, continued efforts are essential to further diminish the prevalence of tobacco-related cancers. By raising awareness, implementing effective policies, and providing support for smoking cessation, we can collectively strive towards a future where the devastating impact of tobacco on cancer is minimized ultimately leading to improved public health worldwide. 